Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So I have an unboxing today of the Motorola Razr. This is the new 2022 edition. So let's begin. And over here we have a charging brick. I believe this is a 33 watt charging brick. You have here probably, yeah, papers, instructions. USB-C cable is a type A to type C cable. We have a protective case here. So this is a hard plastic case. Gosh, I ripped the paper already. When I try to do this unboxing, I always try to do it as gentle as I can and it never works. So we have the device right here. Let's do the first fold. And uh, let's put on the case for now. Although I'm not gonna use the case because one of the reasons I like using these inner foldables is because I feel like the most fragile part of the screen, this, it's protected when the phone is not in use, so I don't really have to worry about it. Like if it falls out of my pocket, I'm not really concerned because the screen's gonna be safe. Oh, it fits in pretty seamlessly. Like it doesn't really get in the way of the phone that much. It does make it feel very plasticky though. So this phone is only sold in China right now, so there is no Google Apps out of the box, but I believe you can set up Google Apps very easily. It's just a matter of installing the APK of the Google Play Store. And I did not get this phone from Motorola, I got it from Trinity Electronics, which is probably one of the best phone importer stores on earth. They get everything. So if you would like to import this phone, you might want to reach out to Trinity Electronics. I can't say they ship everywhere worldwide, but they definitely ship to the US, Singapore, probably around Asia and the UK too. I can't guarantee they'll ship to, you know, maybe in Latin America or something. But if you are in the US, UK, and you're interested, they will ship there. All right guys, I've set up the razor and played around with it for a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna say is this is not a review, okay? Because I've only been using this phone for a couple of hours so far, and all the footage you're watching from today's video should be just from today. So that's only one day with the phone. So I have installed Google. Like I said, Google does not come pre-installed out of the box, but it really only took like two, three minutes. Just go to APK Pure or APK Mirror and download the Google Play Store APK, install it, and then you're good to go. Now, there was a lot of Chinese apps that was pre-installed on the phone, you know, like Baidu Maps, UC browsers, stuff like that, but you can uninstall all of them. So the whole process takes about 15 minutes installing Google and getting rid of the Chinese apps, but after that, you can make this phone look and feel like an international Android phone. So this is a 6.7 inch OLED panel, 120 hertz refresh rate. And the aspect ratio at 20 by nine, it's a little bit wider than the aspect ratio of the Z Flip 4. This is a 22 by nine. So there's pros and cons to each. So the Z Flip 4 is a little bit more compact when the device is folded. If you look at the Motorola Razr, it's actually a little bit wider. You know, it sticks out a little bit. Both of these are still very compact, but if you want the smallest device possible when folded than the Z Flip 4, it's a little bit less wide from left to right. But then when both phones are unfolded, I prefer to type on the Razer's keyboard a little bit more because the screen is a little bit wider. It's only by a little bit, but that little bit makes quite a bit difference because this screen is a little bit tighter than a conventional slap smartphone. So when I'm typing on this, I get a little bit more typos. Now, just this is just because I'm not using this phone full time. If I use this phone every day for a week, I'll probably get used to it. But at first, the keyboard does feel a little bit cramped, whereas on the Motorola Razr, this feels just like typing on a Galaxy S22 Plus or a Google Pixel 6 or an iPhone 13 Pro. The keyboard is wide enough. Okay, next up, let's look at the hinge. So the Motorola Razr can stay in place mid-fold, but the hinge doesn't feel nearly as sturdy as the Z Flip 4. The Z Flip 4's hinge actually requires a little bit of force to move it. And then once in midfold, it really stays in place at any angle. And look, even when I tap it, it doesn't budge at all. It is really stiff. Whereas the Motorola Razr, it can stay in place, but it is not as sturdy. You see it wobbles a little bit and it just wobbles a little bit more and, and the hinge feels a little bit looser. Like when you're unfolding it, it feels slightly floppier, but it can still stay in place, but it doesn't feel as reassuring as a Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4's hinge, which is really stiff actually. But then at the same time, the con of Samsung's hinge is that there's this harsh crease. 
if you look at a black screen, you can see this crease really easily. Whereas on the Motorola Razr, you really don't really see a crease because Motorola uses this kind of curved style folding point instead of a harsh fold. However, Samsung then comes back and will win in that this phone is rated IPX8, meaning you can probably dunk this phone underwater. If you pick it up right away, the phone will be fine. Whereas the Motorola Razr is only supposedly water repellent. So that means you could probably use it in the rain, but if you drop this in water, it might not survive. And just looking at the folding mechanism, like I said, Samsung just feel a little bit more reassuring. If you look at the screen, yeah, sure, when you fold, you have this little harsh point, but everything feels stiff and in place. Now look at Motorola Razr screen when you fold. Sometimes you will see this part of the screen bubble up a little bit. Like you, you see it right there. When, when I first start the fold, see the screen actually bubbles up for a split second. Like right here, you see it bubbles up before it then falls into the groove. Now to be fair, this isn't Motorola's first foldable. And if you jump on the internet and do a search, it's not like there are widespread reports of Motorola Razr screens failing on you. So maybe the screen is perfectly fine. But I'm just saying from a consumer point of view, when you see the screen bubble, you get a little bit nervous. Whereas on the Z Flip 4, this is really sturdy. But then at the same time, you have this really harsh crease that does not look good. Now, one area where the Motorola Razr win is in the outside panel. As you can see, it is just a much larger screen. This is a 2.7 inch panel compared to a 1.9 inch with a narrower aspect ratio. Even if you want to take a selfie with the main cam system using this viewfinder, it's just a little bit cramped. Like look at how narrow this is. Whereas on the Motorola Razr, you can just see so much more, whether it's taking a photo or doing things like just checking your calendar, reading notifications. And you can actually run apps on the screen, like in full. Now it's still gonna be a little bit cramped. Like for example, if I open up Twitter, it looks a little bit ridiculous because you can only really see like one tweet at a time, but it is functional. You can actually send a tweet like this if you want. Now you might be thinking there's no point in running Twitter on this and you're right, but there are apps that actually work on the outside pretty well. Like for example, YouTube, this screen is actually wide enough that you can play videos on this and not feel absolutely ridiculous. But then again, why would you want to watch a video on such a cramped screen when you can just unfold on this gorgeous 6.7 inch OLED panel? And yes, you do have stereo speakers on this phone. They sound pretty good. But back to the outside screen. So you can add any app that you want to this outside screen. You can, back to this outside screen. So you can add any app that you want to this outside screen. But like I said, not every app will run perfectly fine here. Some app will look absolutely ridiculous. And this actually matters a lot to me because to me, the flip is still a phone that you kind of have to unfold to use. Because when it's closed like this, the stuff you can do is very limited. Whereas on the Motorola Razr, I feel like I actually can get stuff done on this outside screen sometimes. If I'm standing on a crowded train, sometimes I don't want to unfold the phone. I can just quickly read an email on the outside cover screen. Okay, now let's look at camera. So both of these phones have dual camera systems. On the Z Flip 4, you have a pair of 12 megapixel shooters. On the Motorola Razr, you have a 50 megapixel main camera with an f1.9 aperture and a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. On the front, you have a 32 megapixel selfie camera here versus a 10 megapixel selfie camera here. So if you go by numbers, the Razer has more impressive hardware. However, smartphone photography in 2022 is much more than just the cameras. And I can tell you right now, the Galaxy Z Flip 4 takes better photos. Now you won't really see a difference during the day with good lighting. Both of these cameras are perfectly fine. But if you shoot in challenging conditions like in low light situations or against harsh backlight, the Z Flip 4 will produce more aesthetically pleasing photos with better dynamic range most of the time because Samsung's software algorithm to process the image is more advanced than Motorola. The Flip 4 and the Motorola Razr 2022. So I see the Flip 4 as adjusting for the sudden bright exposure a lot faster than the Motorola Razr. So this phone runs on Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, just like on the Z Flip 4, which is good news because the battery here is actually quite small. It's a 3,500 milliamp hour battery compared to 3,700 milliamp hour battery. 
Now, 3,500 million hour normally would offer a terrible battery life, but the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is very, very energy efficient. So maybe it will power this phone enough. I highly doubt this phone will be able to go all day for me, but maybe it can go nine hours outside and that would be good enough for me because I'm a very heavy user. But I don't expect this phone to be able to go 12, 13 hours for me. But I will put this to the test because like I said, this is still day one. This is not a review. This is just a first look, hands-on, of a cool new foldable. Now, like I said, this phone is only sold in China right now. But there's a high chance this will reach the US and Europe eventually because Motorola already has a market in those regions and Motorola already sold the previous Razer in the West. So that's about it for this uh, first look video. If you enjoyed this content, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll have a lot more coming up. I'm getting the iPhone 14 series pretty soon. So it's gonna be a busy week, man, a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though.